Hello, guys. Hi, everyone. Today, we're gonna learn the secret of ice cream. We're also gonna find out what cold ice and hot steam have in common. I wonder why sometimes it's rain that falls from clouds. Sometimes it's snow. And sometimes even hail. How does all that get into clouds? What do you mean by all that? Rain, snow, hail. All sorts of stuff fall and pour from clouds in bad weather. Well, in fact, that's all just water taking on different forms. The clouds themselves are water too. That's strange. All those things are very different. Rain is wet, snowflakes are light and soft, and hail is hard and heavy. Are they all really made out of water? Yes, Polly, that's how it is. Like many other materials, water can take on three distinct forms, a solid, a liquid, or a gas. How is that possible? You see it every day. You probably just never noticed it before. Let's step into the kitchen and take a look. Solids, liquids, and gases can be found all over the place, especially in the kitchen. First thing I'm gonna do is add some water to this pot. Now I'm gonna add a little heat energy by turning on the stove. We're gonna wait a little while for that water to heat up. When the water heats up, it starts to make steam like this. Sometimes you can see that steam collect on things like mirrors and glass. We're gonna use a pot top to try and catch some of that steam right now. So Bali, we saw steam coming out of the pot, but how did we get there? We put nothing but water into the pot. That's a mystery. I got another mystery for you. How does this ice appear in the ice tray? I know the answer to this riddle. The water's got frozen because it's very cold in the freezer. That's right. How'd you guess? I've seen puddles freeze over when it gets cold. Good job. Cooling other liquids down can turn them into solids as well. Like soda. Or juice. If we freeze a special type of milk, we'll get ice cream. Do you like ice cream, Bali? Of course, especially in summer. I love it. Now I understand what cooling does to liquids. But what about steam? How is it made? When a lot of heat energy is applied to water, it boils and turns into steam. Steam is very light. That's why it goes up. That means water changes its state from liquid to gas when heated. When a water body, like a sea or an ocean, is warmed by the sun, the water from its surface turns into light vapor. That vapor goes high up in the sky and forms clouds. High above the earth, it's much colder. Cooling turns water vapor back into liquid water that falls down as rain. And if it's winter outside, then it snows. 
When it's too cold, water vapor quickly turns into small crystals that stick together and form snowflakes. And what about hail? Sometimes, during a thunderstorm, when it's very windy, raindrops in the clouds freeze. They fall down as hail. This is just one of the amazing changes that water can go through when it's heated or cooled. It's called the water cycle, and it continues over and over and over again. Hey, Andrew, I've got one more example. If we crack an egg into a heated pan, it'll become white and hard. Its state of matter changes because of heating, right? That's a great question, Bully. When we talk about changing states of matter, the material itself stays the same. So it can be changed over and over again, from a solid, to a liquid, to a gas. Do you think that's the case with our egg? Hmm, I don't think so. Even if we heat it more or put it in a cold fridge, it won't become liquid again. Does it mean this change is irreversible? That's right, Bali. Let's take a look at some other irreversible changes. What if I bring this paper close to a fire? What's gonna happen to it? It'll burn down and turn into ash. Let's check. There's no chance we're able to turn that ash back into a piece of paper. It's one more example of an irreversible change. Guys, tell us what changes of matter you've noticed. Which of those changes were reversible and which irreversible? Share your observations and comments under this video. Bali and I look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone! Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.